It's episode 1.7 and it's time again for a challenge! This time I will describe you a film and you have to tell me what it's called. A film director relatively famous so it shouldn't be that hard. So the main character has a blue suit, is mildly autistic and uh, has a harmonium. And I think that's about... Ah, also uh, the whole plot starts to unwirl at uh, one specific phone call. Yeah, that should be enough. Uh, leave your answer in the comments. Uh, remember, no edits and uh, I guess let's go with two attempts. Oh man, how generous I am today. Okay, let's jump into it. Alright, and I'm back. Um, what the hell am I even doing here? Another poop on the streets? Just beautiful. Oh, I can cut uh, some hedges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What the hell? Weird. Not this one. Is another. Um, the one in the center looks like a vine tree. I wonder why. Anywhere else? I mean, that's obviously a bush that they uh, carved out uh, to look like a pine tree, but why would they do that? <laughs> Sharing their local customs, eating seeds from the ground. Next day, I'll be shitting at the local city hall what if it, it's their way to show respect wish I could uh, do it faster walk it had to make it better do it faster makes us stronger huh not, not bad 25 coins so uh, Shears costs uh, 2 iron plus twigs and it's 5% for each 2 coins so 20, 40, 40 coins that's quite a lot I'm gotta wait for bushes to overgrow again but it's still quite a great deal, surprisingly. Yeah, that's a lot easier than going to the ruins and risk your life. What the fuck? It's completely unfair. If I only could... Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that rage, come on. <sighs> Oof, so close. Uh, gods, do your job. Come on. Uh, what are you even paid for? Uh, it's daylight. How? And that thief just continues to walk around there, and Gus just okay f with it for some reason. Jesus, I see how it is. If it was me, half of town would chase me with torches and halibirds until the end of times. But if it's a fellow pig trying to rob humans, eh, not a biggie. We just swing at an air and run for a bit and go back to our business. Forty-one. I almost can buy a house um, for grass that I acquired. Less than half day. Ah, oh, come on. Would be nice to have more than one. Uh, where did she get this bush anyway? I haven't seen it grow anywhere here. Why would I need this idol? Hmm. Yeah. Probably I can do something with totems rather than sell it. Is he still running for me? I guess not. 
Uh, I could easily buy gold and uh, build lightning rods right now. If not that damn accident. Where are you running, lady? Is that how people were getting fit before treadmills? Pressing your forehead before the wall and run. <laughs> Oh, but that makes makes sense. She sells healthcare items and uh, trying to be in a good shape. Security contract. What does it mean? Hmm. I guess one way to find out. Okay, I think I can, uh, I should try to give it to God and she will, he will follow me. I should keep it for uh, my next ruin run. Bushes that look like birches. Those bastards. I took birches but not the pine trees with them from where they came from. Probably it connects them to the constant. Hey, what was that? Am I seeing things? Jingle jingle. I hope this fifth doesn't know where I live. Yeah, I think the screen shakes before the storm every time. It's hard to notice sometimes. You look away or wink and it's already happened silently. <laughs> My first and only bush. Seriously, get out of here. Ah, I could have killed him. I'm curious what he would drop. Bursting in in my kitchen like that. What if one meat lover would sh show up here and uh, Confuse shitball with a meatball. That would be a disaster. Speaking of which, let's cook ourselves a shitball. At least radish good for something. Okay, uh, I think I leave it here. Holding up a lot of space. My beautiful handle cat. Yeah, touch will will serve me nicely. Uh, leave it here for now. Oh, seats. Just what I needed. Oh, looky here. A sleepy boy. <laughs> Oh, a monster meat. Okay. It doesn't look like a monster to me, but alright. I guess creature who rolls shitballs all day can be considered a monster. My monster mint tokens get spoiled. And man, I have a lot of ashes. Okay, I need to uh, fertilize my exceptional bush. Great. No sound for some reason. And I can now get off. Oh, hey, a new season. I don't know what I think about it. I already have problems with survival. Not not big ones, but still. Anything can happen. Um. Oh. 
Perfect. <laughs> Day 23. Should remember that. Oh, hey. My forgotten axe. <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Maybe I can sell it for a better price to a florist lady. One per day, though. A little healing. With my health, no such thing as a little healing. It actually gave me a bit of hunger. Even here, they grow out of water. Hmm, the sunken object. I probably need a fishing rod for that. Which I can't have because I need webs again. This sucks, man. Man. Okay, let's see what's this little piece of land prepared for us. Already she sees shit. Blech. That's all you have to say, Maxwell. Blech. What gets them to spook sometimes? I really don't get it. Maybe you need night or evening. I remember... Um, them fall off a few times in the fog. Maybe you need a fog? I don't know. I gotta test that. Hey, wait! Ugh. <laughs> I don't think uh, uh, any pogs left on my continent. Where I come, they get extinct. Hey! Cave cleft. Could be some gold or flint. Spooky hole. Hmm, stalagmite. Um, better burn this shit. Nice. Yeah, exploration is the great way to get what you need. Uh, I like Neil deGrasse Tyson's uh, cave allegory about it. They were asking him something like, uh, why would we go to space when we have our own problems on Earth? And he said something, oh, red gem. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this hole. I already tried everything, come on. Um, so, um, Tyson said something like, imagine it black cave, right? <laughs> This is bad. So, um, basically imagine a um, bunch of people sitting around the fire in a black cave and some of them are injured and one guy stands up and says I want to go to that mountain that I see in the distance and the other guy says no one leaves the caves until these guys get better and so they keep sitting there while realistically if they gone out, they could have found water or herbs or food to help those guys. Isn't that funny? How we get um, short-sighted when we face something unknown? And I get that uh, it's a common sense that's coming out of a cave could be dangerous. Some tiger can uh, jump on you and tear you apart or boulder can fall on your head. But if we were not exploring, it's even worse. We will be this fucking caveman at the fire. Yeah. Neil Tyson. Cool dude. Oh my. So many lost frames. Hmm. <laughs> Where the hell can I go through? Wow. Uh, ouch. Well, 
Wow, that's just nice. Yeah, exploring will be quite annoying now. Oh wow, they <laughs> keep growing. Uh, great. My meat have seen a better days. Ah, uh, man. I only need one gold. I feel like if I don't build the lightning rod soon, this whole place will be ashes and uh, carbon. Uh, let's go to the town, I guess. Sell some crap. Thorns are not shown on the map, unfortunately. Would be nice. Hmm, <laughs> this guy is in the hustle. Pretty close, but it's night, so shops are closed anyway. Nothing more exciting than chopping trees. Chubbity chop chop, chubbity chop, chubbity chop 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 chop. Well, at least it's a tea tree. If they were real, I would want to be. That uh, little squirrel <laughs> that lives on it. Not really. <laughs> okay, great. What I would do... I would buy a diamond ring and ask Tea Tree to marry me. <laughs> it's funny because some people actually doing that with the trees. Hmm. Strange. How do you make it here? Here. Uh, logically you need water. Oh no. Not the winds. I hate it so much. God damn it. Now I need build chests and uh, I don't have any protection against it, right? Uh, they blow out fires. In the shipwreck you can build uh, a special kind of um, fire pit. But here, I don't think so. And I'm pretty sure uh, wind is not global, and it only works when I'm around, so I shouldn't be worried about my base right now. Clay? Why? Why winds? Clay? Uh. What is this uh, feather lady? Should be here. Still doing her thing. <laughs> oh, what a gal. Hmm. Hmm, what should I do? Maybe I could try going fast and grab a gold and get out. Okay. <laughs> ah. A bug net. Yeah, a bug net I would uh, grab too. <laughs> I can't believe this works. I need to find space for that though. Okay, my god. This is hilarious. 20! Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Thank you for your business, gentlemen. Well, the pig. I'm going to the shop, um, throwing money at the owner and grab his goods while he's trying to kill me. 
he shouldn't be selling me anything or uh, let his gods go and uh, sell me like normal. Not both. Oh, god damn it. Okay, what will they give me for this flower? I have six oinks and uh, nothing. <sighs> and uh, what do I do with it? I guess like every person in the right mind. <laughs> yeah, on pedals you won't get rich for sure. But I guess I have now 4 gold, so I would call it a win. Or maybe it would be better to build a base here than there. It's kind of far, and also thorns. I don't know. I guess before I can judge whether to build the base, I should explore more. Who knows? Maybe the more than one town or a big territory with a lot of food. But then again, I need a base to survive. To bring stuff and store my bloody treasures. Hmm. Thorns so I won't go on those tiles for some reason. That's interesting. Maybe I should uh, next time to try and uh, uh, use a pitchfork and uh, dig up my base. My current place not that bad. Still have access to the um, to the main town. Wait, what? It's on me and. Uh, or no, mm, doesn't seem like it. I think uh, everything that's happening around spooks those guys. Or what's more probable, it's another bug. Mm, speaking of bugs, there's one. Without his lovely shitball. What a sad picture. No, oh, um, he was selling um, a mining helmet at some point. I wonder if uh, I missed that. Hmm. No one cut stone. And. Ta da! My own lightning rod that I can't place anywhere. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should clean up my mess, but just this once. Okay, great. Rape my first science machine and some items, but otherwise I didn't lose so much. I could... Hmm. Quite a chittering place here. I don't need to dig up anything, uh, move around and fertilize at my base. It's already here. <laughs> I just need to go down here now and then. Quite happy about that at least. Speaking of bugs, I know some people that are very good at finding those. They stumble upon them almost at every game because they dig around a lot. Or doing something out of pure curiosity, ignoring the thing that uh, games tells them to do. And again, I find uh, funny that uh, something chaotic can bring you to discoveries. And they also die a lot. That's that. Alright. At least now I will have something to 
uh, keep going. Man, I need to find source of food. If it was winter now, I would be fucked completely. Security contracts. I don't know. Do I need it? I think I just wasted my money. Uh, I found some iron here. Not a bad place. Uh, maybe here I can find the two. Um, okay. Hmm. Mm, I don't know what to do. Where the hell should I go? Thorn bushes or briars, bushes, what, whatever. They are everywhere. Also, I need food, and I don't have enough for the recipe. Grow faster, stupid farms. I can fertilize them. Hmm. I had to cut here. Thanks for watching, and next episode, let's say, will be a lot greener. See you around.